All of us are afraid of getting cancer. It's one of the most feared diseases and illnesses. But there is something invisible that can actually give us cancer without us knowing at all or feeling before it's too late. It's radiation. High energy ionizing radiation, such as x-rays and gamma rays, can remove electrons from your DNA, which will damage it, and cause skin or tissue cancer. This means there will be uncontrollable growth in your cells, like tumors. Radiation can come from all sorts of places like radio antennas, Wi-Fi, computers, smartphones, nuclear waste, nuclear bombs, and the sun. Electronics are one big source of radiation, and they have two types of radiation that comes from them. Electric fields and magnetic fields. An electric field is made by voltage, and, um, and, and the magnetic field is produced by current flowing. Electromagnetic fields are electric and magnetic fields. Lots of devices make electromagnetic fields. Like for example a laptop, and a, a, a game console, a computer, a blender, literally anything that uses electricity, a television, your phone. If you have uh, like AirPods or AirPods or something, the electrical radiation is also emitted, both electric and elect and magnetic. And it's going to be really close, but it's actually harmless. Electric fields are easily weakened by anything that blocks them. And and magnetic fields also are really weakened so if you're uh, using a laptop the distance uh, between you and the magnetic field generated by your laptop screen and motherboard and stuff like that it's too weak it does not actually do anything many studies have found out that there is no correlation between using electronics and cancer many of them some looked at screens, some looked at Wi-Fi, some looked at power lines. None of them found a correlation. The only correlation that has been found is people who work on maintenance for radio antennas, which is a very slight risk. It's, it's a very slight visible risk. And some medical stuff can actually affect your cancer risk as well. X-rays can also slightly increase the risk of cancer. But they are so low that their benefits outweigh their negatives. So you should not worry about x-ray x skeletal examinations as long as a professional like your doctor knows what he is doing. Same thing for CT scans as they, are, they can also increase the risk of cancer by about 0.005%. It also depends on age and gender as women and children are more sensitive to CT scans than men as well as the organ because something like your lungs is more sensitive than your brain from these waves but just as x-rays like I said it does more harm than good and your doctor probably knows what he's doing now this is the biggest threat this is an actual real threat unlike Wi-Fi and 5G and CT scans and devices the Sun this is the actual biggest threat the sun emits various amounts of radiation, right? but most of it does not get through the ozone layer at, ma at magnetosphere. But ultraviolet radiation does get through it, and is also dangerous because it is ionizing. Ultraviolet radiation starts appearing from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Most people when they go out into the, for the beach and uh, sunbathe, it's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Not much people do it from do it from before and after right it's, beaches are mostly empty after that time which is why you need to wear sunscreen and sunblock because it can damage your DNA and increase the risk of skin cancer if you get sunburned if you get sunburned once in two years your cancer risk has already tripled so you have to wear a sunblock and be aware of how much you spend it, how much time you spend in the Sun like maybe two Two three hours should be enough. You should not be spending more than that because you're damaging your DNA and your cancer risk is tripled. If you go to the beach more often, it just adds up. It just adds up. It keeps getting tripled and tripled. It, you could get skin cancer 
later in your life. That's why you should wear sunblock and be aware of how much time you spend in the sun and wear hat. Now, some um, something is very dangerous but not common is nuclear power plant accidents and waste exposure. So, if you work on nuclear power plant, you have to be careful and not and uh, you should not get close to the wastewater or get exposed to nuclear waste. You should be, you should not go to any of these areas. One example of a nuclear power plant accident is Chernobyl. Chernobyl disaster happened in modern day Ukraine in the USSR. It involved the reactor blowout because of bad management. It released 5% of the radioactive reactor core into the environment. Being in the Chernobyl exclusion zone for an hour is equal to almost half of all yearly background radiation we're exposed to per year. The short term effects are skin burns, you'll start having skin burns. Your skin will have, be, have a, like a rash or something. And if you stay for more and more, if you maybe stay for 5 hours, that's already, that's already a very very big increase in cancer risk. You should not be doing that. Animals are actually affected by the blowout. But now, 34 years later, they're actually, they're just living normally except for a higher rate of albinos. If you actually want to visit Chernobyl and are willing to take the risk, you should not touch the animals. Do not touch any dogs or animals because they have radioactive particles in their fur. You should not do it. Nuclear bombs can also increase your cancer risk. So if you survived or lived in the fallout area, this means you, can, you could even get cancer years after the explosion. So also be careful of nuclear bombs. It's very, very rare, but yeah, that's something you should know about. In conclusion, radiation cancer is a very rare thing. You should not be worried about electronics, power lines, cell phone, base stations, x-rays, and CT scans. You should only worry about sun radiation and try not to get sunburned. Nuclear bombs and accidents should also be something to avoid but they are extremely rare so you should not worry about them as well